Many wireless companies are eliminating 3G service this year, and that means people with older phones will have some trouble calling 911 or other emergency services. That's right. Well, Mary Jane Bellyessa shares how business owners are preparing for the transition and what you at home can do to stay connected. As many mobile companies pull the plug on their 3G networks to make room for faster network services and capabilities, business owners like Lori Mann of Manny Mark are quickly making the switch. I am on 4G, but again, my business is all about connecting with other people. So it's really the customers, the individuals that I connect with, making sure that they have access. Michael Johnston, the chief security advisor for Boss Security Screens, says while many carriers already notified customers, it's not that easy for others to catch on. My mother-in-law, who is 86 years old, uh, she has early dementia, and she received a notice but doesn't understand what 3G really means. Phasing out 3G doesn't just impact your phones, but it also impacts medical devices, tablets, home security systems, and even vehicle SOS devices. Make sure that you're not operating on 3G when the sunset for your carrier comes online. And then also make sure that any of your loved ones get with them, look at their systems, look at their homes, their alert devices, medical alert devices. Johnston also says it's best to reach out to your internet provider to ensure coverage. I know AT&T is set to uh, shut down on February 22nd unless the FCC um, does uh, intervene. But... Uh, for those that still have time with, say, Sprint and uh, T-Mobile and the other carriers, uh, make sure that you are proactive. Reporting from Lake Mead and Boulder Highway, Mary Jane Belleza, Live Local Now.